Um, my name's Joseph. Uh, I'm here to talk to you about the Bose Acoustimus 300 unit. Um, complicated name, but it's basically the base unit for the SoundTouch 300 Bose unit. So first I'm going to show you a few shots of the unit and an unboxing video I did, um, which will just be quick, but to show you what comes in the package, how well packaged it is, etc. Okay, so here we have the box. As you can see, there's the Bose logo, easy on the top, with a little kind of instruction manual that gives you a few tips. Um, the box is well packaged, it has a photo on it, and here you can see that it's some nice design they've done on it. Um, lots of pictures of the product. You have different languages, um, little guides to opening, etc. Again, a few more details on the top of the box. I really like the packaging, um, very premium. So you open it and you can take off that cover and that little instruction manual. As you can see here, it just gives you a very quick start guide. There's not much to setting this up once you already have the soundbar. Um, all very smart, the packaging, really liked it. You've got the AC power plug um, right in the actual posting box. Then you take it out of the main box and you come to this, your register the package um, part, which just, um, and you get to the next stage, which is where you actually find your lovely Bose unit. As you can see, um, this box is nice and protective. Um, the, the, the polystyrene is thick, which is, is good because it is a heavy product. And obviously there's a whole glass top there. Um, and after that, you take another box off and you get to this clever kind of fold away bit and you have your beautiful bass soundbar. Um, as you can see here, it's got a lovely glass top with the logo on it. Um, really cool design features. Really, ju yeah, just kind of excellent top level design. Okay, so... <clears throat> Okay, so after you take it out of the box, you of course have to set it all up. Um, and this can be quite daunting sometimes with some equipment and things you have in your home, even ones which are meant to be for general consumers. It can not always be the easiest thing to do. But one of the best parts of the Bose setup with the sound touch and the Acoustimus is the ease of use when it comes to setting it all up. So once you've got your sound touch set up and plugged into all your television equipment, etc. It's not hard at all to get the Acoustimus working with it. Um, I recommend you do look at the manual because there's a specific buttons that you have to press to at the same time to get the, the bass, to get the sound touch unit into pairing mode. The bass unit will automatically search for the sound touch one as, as soon as the sound touch bar is in pairing mode, the bass one will pair with it. It's not difficult at all. I had no problems. So one of the best things about this, to me, is the is films and music. Well, two of the best things. Um, so I think that the this setup with the sound touch unit and the, the acoustics unit work really well for films and music, which is really good. Um, music comes out really crisp, and once you pair the acoustics unit with the sound touch unit, um, I think you get a much richer experience. You can hear um, notes that wouldn't usually be heard on most speaker settings, uh, setups. So one example is my wife loves her classical music. Uh, so we were playing some classic FM in the afternoon and put on some, they put on some organ music. Usually this sounds good, but with the acoustics unit, it was amazing. You could feel the organ in the room. So it really gave it a different layer and kind of felt like you were there almost, which was, yeah, it's really different experience and well worth it. Uh, for films, it's amazing. It's like when you're at the cinema and you can feel the kind of thump of things on screen. This was like that. I've, I've never listened to any speakers that I heard that from. So yeah, for, for films, it's, it's amazing. I watched um, Inception on it and yeah, it was brilliant. And it really, it manages to keep the bass out of the um, out of the dialogue when you're watching a film like Inception. So it, yeah, you can hear what they're saying, but you can also hear the action. You can hear the the thuds. You can hear the the shots, and you can also feel them. 
which is, I think, the best part of this. It's not bass that just you hear, it's bass that you feel. It really is a kind of impact. So I have, no, I have it next to my sofa, and when something slams on the floor in the film, it feels like it's slammed right under you, which is really different, but definitely enjoyable. Um, my wife has always said she doesn't really like bass from speakers and everything, and it's just because we never bought speakers of a good enough quality, because these, she's told me that she can, yeah, she likes them, which is different for her. Um, so yeah, they, it's, they're definitely good. I would recommend purchasing them if you can afford them. And that's probably the worst downside of these speakers is their cost. Um, the sound touch unit is 600 pounds and then the Bose Acoustimus unit is also 600 pounds. I didn't buy them I've of that. But if you do have the money for that, I would recommend going for them. They're well worth it. And you could probably save some money if you were going for a wired system, etc. But I think that both weren't going for those people who want to wire their whole living room. They're going for the people who want really excellent quality, but really easy setup as well. Um, you just plug the two in really and calibrate it to your room and then you're done. And the calibration is all automatic. You just put this little headset on and you plug it into your soundbar and then it does tones and it asks you to sit in certain locations which it all explains to you so no problems with that so definitely yeah if if you can afford the device go for it it's well it's competitive and worth it in terms of the quality you you don't feel like you've paid more than you should have um, it's a lovely design as you saw in the video earlier it's a glass top which does attract a lot of dust but I don't tend to look at my unit anyway that much and if I'm going to, I probably would just give it a dust. But yeah, glass does bring a lot of dust to it. You could try an anti-static wipe or something like that. Um, yeah, that's. I think that's it for that. And the only problem I have had is with pairing regularly. So I often turn all my devices off, um, the TV and everything, at night. Um, which doesn't really help them in terms of because they should be going in standby and all that so sometimes it, I find that the sound touch unit if pl um, plugged in at the same time as the base unit doesn't connect to the base unit unless you turn the base one on and off again so what you have to do is you just have to well either leave them in standby or you need to have access to the base plug so that you can plug it in and out if you're turning everything off. Most people just leave stuff on standby, and if you do that, it will stay connected. But if you're the kind who likes to turn it all off at the plug, be aware that you will need to turn your sound touch bar on, then your bass unit. Yeah, if you've got any questions, let me know. I'm sorry it took so long. I've done this video about three times on different setups. I was away, so I was trying to do it on my other camera, and it just wasn't working out. So yeah, thanks for watching. If you liked it, subscribe. Um, and hit the like button. I'll see you soon.